Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and today I have an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about backpacking stoves. I got an email from an individual who saw my video that I did, the one where I had like 13 backpacking stoves, and I narrowed it down to the top two, my favorites, the Whisper Light Universal by MSR and the Optimus Polaris. This individual saw that video and didn't believe that backpacking stoves have the horsepower to perform a real function. Kind of went back and forth with the guy a little bit and I told him, you know what, I'll just shoot a video and I'll send you a link to the video when the video's done. So this video is for that individual and the stove that I'm going to do today in this video is the MSR Whisper Light Universal. Okay, it's one of my favorite stoves. This one and the Optimus Polaris are my top two stoves. What I'm going to do, you can see that I have my big Stanley uh, even heating, not the base camp cook set, but the one above that. This one I have here because I'm going to use this to boil water today. We're going to boil four liters of water, almost a gallon, right? And I'm going to show in real time how these perform. The base camp cook set, even though they look the same, it only holds three liters. This one will hold four liters. Let's get the stove fired up. And I just want to show that these stoves are capable of doing things that this that this individual doesn't think they can do. These stoves are quite capable, even though they're small. I think he might be thinking, you know, because they're small, that they don't perform. Mm -hmm. Now back here, I have four bottles of water sitting here, and it's at room temperature. I'm going to be boiling almost a gallon. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the stove set up. Another thing that I want to tell the, the guy is he, he was kind of questioning the pot supports, that these stoves are weak, that they can't hold any weight. And that's not true either. These stoves are tough. They're very durable. In fact, I have a cast iron pan that I use that's got the, like the grill pan. It's a 10 inch. And I use the MSR Rapid Fire, and I put that pan cast iron on that thing all the time, and I cook burgers and steaks and things like that on that stove. So it's these are definitely capable. Let me go ahead and get the stove fired up so I can get it warming up. I will switch uh, to liquid feed mode for this test. Just bear with me here. I just want to get everything ready to go. And in the meantime, you can see that the pot is not hot or anything like that. There's no shenanigans here in this video. Everything that I'm showing you is legit. I'm going to look through and I'm basically going to pour four liters of water in here. You're going to be amazed at what these stoves can do. This is a gallon of water. There's three liters there. Here's the last one. So there's four liters of water. Now, before I put this on the burner, on the stove, let me uh, move this. I want to move this stove a little bit closer to the edge here so you can see it a little better. Let me get my lid. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy set up there. 
we will start the time and I will cover it and now I'll increase the, the heat. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait. This is in liquid feed mode. But as you can see, the stove is performing. I'm looking down in the pot and I can already see some small bubbles in the bottom of the pot. I'm guessing that it's going to take about 10 minutes. So we're two and a half minutes in. And already I can see bubbles on the bottom of the pot. Bring you in and show you that real quick. What we're looking at here. See the bubbles down there? We're approaching the five minute mark. We're at a light boil, folks. Let's take a look here. A very light boil. Approaching nine minutes. Definitely boiling really well. But it's not heavy enough yet. It's not heavy enough for me to call it a heavy rolling boil. Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. I'm going to stop the time. Let's take a look. There is a heavy rolling boil. Eleven minutes. Turn the heat down, and there you have it. In 11 minutes, with this backpacking stove, I was able to achieve a heavy rolling boil. No problems at all. The stove performed very well. So I hope this video helped you out in seeing that these stoves can hold a large pot and they can also perform very well. Try taking four liters of water, putting it on your stove at home and see if that stove will boil that water in 11 minutes. I'm gonna go out on a limb and think it's not gonna be able to. So with all that being said folks, again, thank you for stopping by. I hope this helped you out. Please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video, share this video, and as always, have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.